Hi there. Now, let's talk about the East African region, right? And remember when we talk of East African region, sometimes we could be talking about the East African community, which has countries of Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, Burundi, South Sudan, and Congo. Other times, we could be talking about the East African region or geographical region, which also includes countries like Ethiopia and Somalia. But now let's talk about the East African region uh, as a whole. And you know that in that region, the most industrialized, most uh, economically advanced country there is Kenya. So Kenya is definitely the most developed country in East Africa. Of course, with the exception of the Seychelles, which is an island of the coast of East Africa. But Rwanda... Rwanda is the country that we should be talking about in this video because this country, a lot of people believe that it's punching above its weight. So Rwanda recently released a census and in that census, there were other things that they were monitoring. For example, life expectancy. So today Rwanda has a life expectancy of 66 years, which is a 1% above what Kenya has, which is uh, 65, and definitely uh, almost uh, 3% above what Tanzania has. Uh, so Rwanda is the country in the whole region that has the highest life expectancy. In other words, people are living longer. The other thing you have to look at is the economic growth. Rwanda is the fastest growing economy in East Africa. Uh, last year, the economy grew at 10.6%. While that one of Ethiopia grew at 5.6, the one from Kenya, which had been projected to grow at 5, actually outdid itself by growing at 7. Point, I think 4%. Tanzania was also around 6. Point something. Rwanda had the fastest growing economy. That is what I wanted to tell you. But then you have to also look at the latest news today. This is the month of June, uh, the end of May. We are going to the month of June. And a lot of companies in the region are reporting their, they are basically closing their financial year. So they are reporting their profits. And a lot of Kenyan companies, mostly banks and insurance companies, are basically going to start reporting their financial profits. And... Uh, I've seen some reports saying that they have subsidiaries in Tanzania, Uganda, Rwanda, and Burundi, and even Congo. Some of them have subsidiary in Ethiopia. And they are saying, uh, five banks in Kenya said that of all their subsidiaries in the region, those ones in Rwanda recorded the highest profit and the highest growth. So that's five banks, different banks that are not even related reporting that. So that shows that the economy of Rwanda is actually growing. And even when you look at things like uh, conferencing, Rwanda 10 years ago didn't even have a conference facility. Today they have the KICC, Kigari International Conference, I think Convention Center, that's what they call it. And then they didn't have even an arena. Today they have one. Kigari didn't have a, a good airport. They are constructing Bujesera. So uh, they didn't have an, uh, an industrial park. Kenya had one called the EPZ in uh, Earth River. There are other, other, several others. Ethiopia also has uh, basically free trade zones. But uh, Rwanda now is constructed. Actually, it has one called the Bujesera Industrial Park, which is like a, a free trade zone. So when it comes to manufacturing, that country is also doing well. Uh, Three years ago, we would be talking about Uganda because the economy was growing so fast and doing so well. A lot of manufacturing companies were actually leaving Kenya and relocating to Uganda. But today, that's not the case. They are now going to Rwanda because uh, the economy there is doing so well. And then definitely we have... Uh, today I saw an article that Tanzania is in talks to, have, uh, to launch their first satellite and they're saying it's going to be a weather satellite. Why are they doing it? Because Kenya launched one uh, about four months ago called Taifa One. 
as a matter of fact today i think is uh, it's working it's functional it's monitoring weather above the east african region and rwanda had launched another one called uh, rwanda sat 1 uh some few months before that which is uh, supposed to basically provide internet in the rural rwanda and uganda also i think did launch a satellite but uh, that satellite i think uh, malfunctioned or they lost control of that uh, website uh, sorry satellite but now you understand this is a tiny country a very tiny country in the region that is actually punching above its weight it has things that neighboring countries are working hard to achieve they have one of the best education system in the region they have one of the best medical system in the region and of course they are they have clean cities and it's not just kigari because if you go to other cities and towns like uh, jisenyi or you go to kibungo or i don't know what do we call this town uh ruamagana you go to those cities outside kigari you still find them very clean some even cleaner than kigari so they are very organized but that's not the point the point is this country is actually achieving development uh they used to say that rwanda aspires to be the singapore of africa and it's my belief that they are getting there they are achieving that because if you look at uh, the amount of electricity they have managed to generate in a short span from uh, lake kivu using methane and from the pit pit plants this is the what do we call pit for you can go and google what a pit is pit p w e t uh, it's like coal and rwanda has a pit fired plant not far from kigari and uh, they have managed to be able to be to generate all this electricity to, att- to attract industrialization and manufacturing as opposed to importing electricity from uganda so that is a country that is doing all those things at the same time and don't forget the technology because uh, when it comes to ICT i think rwanda comes second only to kenya right uh, we have uh, the startups when you look uh, in the region the number of startups being started you know startups are these companies technological companies kenya has definitely the largest number of startups attracting the largest uh, investment in startup you know uh, seed money but then in the region you still find that Rwanda comes second in the number of startups and innovative technology in that country. They have some good innovation like uh, electrical bicycles. They have uh, they even have uh, this uh, hailing app called uh, what do we call this app? Yego started in Rwanda. They also have uh, this uh, ride sharing uh, bicycle ride sharing. Uh, I think uh, bicycle kind of um, hailing app. I don't recall what it is. But they also have some good innovative technology. I mean, they even have drones that deliver blood from one hospital to another, which I think a lot of you know that. They have so many things going on in that country, including electrical vehicles way ahead of Kenya. As a matter of fact, in the region, uh, Rwanda has more electrical vehicles that are being used on the roads than uh, Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, you name it. So they have the largest number of uh, EV vehicles on the roads but then definitely there are other things that they have managed to achieve in in a span of 20 years like having one of uh, the best national carriers in the region that is Rwanda Air which is uh, one of the best actually in the region and so many other things but bottom line is this are positive thing going on in East Africa and I was just reading about this country today and uh, wondering how they have managed to achieve so much in a short time including actually uh tourism the tourism numbers uh you look at the region the number of people who came to the individual countries uh Tanzania leads uh, followed by Kenya but then you have Rwanda coming in third and normally you would expect Uganda to attract more than 1 million and a half uh, visitors but here we have Rwanda which uh, i think is more to do with their their national career and their airport and how they market themselves 
uh, using very innovative ways, like for example, uh, f- uh, football clubs having their name written on the jerseys, visit Rwanda, and so on. But definitely, those are some of the things that are happening. 